All right, test time. Watch this. Now, what do you think is gonna happen? Today, let's talk about etiquette. While there are some general etiquette rules for badminton all over the world, I do think there's a little bit of a culture difference as well. Do you agree with what I'm about to say? Hey guys, Badminton Becky, an American living and playing in China. Please hit the subscribe button for the YouTube algorithm. It helps me a lot. Follow along as I talk about all things badminton and try to be a top player in my city. All right, so etiquette, here's the thing. I have never played like in a Western country. <laughs> Even though I'm an American, I am in China. Five and a half years ago, I played um, for like one week in the summer when I went to visit. But I haven't even been to America in five years. So I don't know what the etiquette rules are. And honestly, I don't know if Chinese etiquette is the same as Western etiquette. From like Reddit and Badminton Central and stuff, I do know some of the things people complain about. And I know that, you know, whoever hits it into the net, you are supposed to retrieve it and give it to the opponents or, or your partner. Honestly, in China, we kind of do like whoever's closest to the net. Like if it hits the net and the other team, they have someone at the front of the net, they'll grab it. Like nobody cares who actually hit it into the net. It's just kind of like who's closest. I don't know if that's like a thing you guys do all over or if it's like you hit it into the net your side has to get it and give it to the opposite team also what do you do with this do you get mad at this <laughs> i've seen a lot of people on reddit they get mad when people are like oh thank you thank you thank you when they mess up a serve we do that all the time in china and it's totally fine nobody gets mad and it's not dickish, it's just, you know, smack talking. I wouldn't really say it to a stranger, or actually you would. Like if you're just having a fun club night, you wouldn't do it in a competition, I guess, but that's just because you're more quiet or something. But if it's a fun night and you're playing with a stranger and they hit the net, we often say, thank you, thank you, you know, just to be a little cheeky. But I know that might be a faux pas where you're from. Also, when you pick up the shuttle, try to give it to the person serving. I always hate, not that this is um, very strong etiquette here in China, nobody gets really mad if you don't do this, but when you're tired, you're playing a lot, and the person, your opponents just kind of like throw you the shuttle and they throw it like to the back corner and you're like in the front waiting for it and you gotta walk all the way over. I hate when people do that. So try to pay attention to the score and return the shuttle to the proper side or the proper person that is next to serve. Here's another big question for you. In mixed doubles, who should serve first? The man or the woman? Mm -hmm. In China, generally the woman serves first and I kind of think this is sexist and I don't really like it. So me and Aja, we just kind of, whoever's standing wherever, or sometimes they'll be like, you serve first, just to like mix it up. Cause I think it's a little too old fashioned for me. And I don't like that it's kind of a suit. And I did see on a Badminton Insight video that they also were annoyed at that. So I think this might be a unconscious etiquette around the world that like ladies first kind of mentality. Men just serve, don't worry about it. Doesn't have to be ladies first. You no, know, it is always proper court etiquette no matter where you are in the world. Wearing dragon badminton clothing. <laughs> This video is sponsored by Dragon Badminton, the best badminton store on the internet, available in America and Europe and all the world around. Go to Dragon Badminton, link below in the description box, and you will see not only clothes to play badminton in, but super fun stuff for your house. There's a hooded Sherpa blanket with a badminton cord on it that you can snuggle up with in these cold winter months. New stuff being added all the time. Go check it out. It's the best. From badminton lovers to badminton lovers. Other etiquette. I know a really big topic is shuttles. What do you do with shuttles? Now this is a very, very culture thing. Tashwaima. You can write in the comments. Shrai bu shrai. <laughs> He's bored, I think. Anyway, 
So who brings the shuttles? Who uses the shuttles? When do you change the shuttles? Blah, 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 blah. I've heard a lot, like, you know, I get a lot of comments about it. And also, you know, I see it in Reddit and Badminton Central. Look, I don't even know. I have no idea. Shuttles are always included. Um, the club leader buys them. Like, yes, the club leader asks, you know, make sure they're broken before you change them. Don't just change it for fun, but everyone's, you know, generally does that. And we have zero arguments about shuttles because it's a... Oh, Nihon Kuziran. Hello. Hello. Megwa, hello. Hello. So we have zero issues. I've never had a shuttle issue. I do not know any shuttle etiquette. So if you would like to write and inform me in the comments below, let me know. I think there's a general fighting etiquette. Ajin I. We love to fight on the court, but when you fight, you gotta be quick because your opponents are waiting for you. <laughs> so unless it's like with your coach and it's like a training game, or, you know, if your partner, if your partner like is continually training you, try to make it quick, you know, don't, don't keep talking and say, okay, this is what you should have done in that, that blah, 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 blah. Your opponents aren't playing a training game and like just you and your partner are, or if you're fighting, Keep it short, your opponents are waiting. Now here's another question for the international crowd. Please let me know what you think. Serving a high serve against a woman in mixed doubles, especially if you're a man. I obviously feel like it's totally fine. In a competition, men will do it to the female player all the time. So women need to practice in the normal club night. So men need to do it. But man, you know, there's a lot of people and I think they think they're gentlemen and so they'll give me a high serve and I'll just miss it. And that's fine. I wasn't ready. I wasn't expecting it. It's my fault. But then they go, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. And I'm like, no, 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 sorry. No, sorry, that was good. And then they never do it again. I hate it, but the people that do it, I feel like they think they are doing proper etiquette by not serving a high serve or a flick serve on a woman. But I think it only hurts the female's game and she will be screwed in a competition when the opponent does it to her. Let me know what you think about that one because I think we might all have different opinions on that one. Also, I think there's some etiquette when, um, you know, a shuttle is potentially in or out. Like it goes right on the line and nobody's really sure and you both disagree. What we generally do here is if one person's winning, they'll just give it to the other team. Feel like the best etiquette in an uncertain, is it in, is it out, is to give it to the team with less points. Even if you're just like one or two points apart, I think that's the best etiquette. That's what we tend to do here. But you, again, let me know what you would do in that situation. Now there's a really big one. Well, what do you do if you hit your partner? <laughs> Um, obviously, you should both immediately say sorry, but then like, I hate when one partner's like, you shouldn't have been there. You know, it's like, hey, like, like especially because I'm the front court player, generally in mixed doubles, the front court player can't see the back court player. So I generally think it's kind of like when you get rear-ended in a car accident, it's never the person in front's fault, it's the person in back because they should always leave two to three car spaces between you and the car in front of you. So I feel like the person in the back should always defer, even if they're not totally sure that their partner's gonna get it and they're sure they can get it. I still feel like just to avoid a hit, you just gotta give it up if you're in the back because your front partner can't see you. So I feel like it's generally the back partner's fault and they should be sorrier. <laughs> but you know, just a general sorry. You don't have to like grovel and be like, oh my God, but I really hate when the back player yells at the front player when they hit into each other. And a really big one is, uh, what do you do if you break your partner's racket? This one, honestly, I have no answer. It's, knock on wood, never happened to me before. Because a new racket's really expensive. It's not like you can buy a new racket and whose fault was it? And, and it could get sticky and it could lose friends. And I don't know. I don't know what I would do if it was Aja. He has a ton of rackets. <laughs> I would feel very sorry. And maybe like at Christmas, I would buy him a new one. If it was like just a friend I was playing with, I don't know what I would do. Maybe if this has happened to you, tell me what you did in the comments. So if this ever happens to me, I'll know what to do. <laughs> uh, speaking of getting hit, I did not see that, but... Obviously, if you hit someone and you hurt them, you know, take care of them. Get some ice. 
get a cold bottle of water, if nothing else, so they can put it against the injury. Really check with them that they're okay. Don't just be like, whoops, get out of here. We'll keep playing. <laughs> I just asked Aja, um, that girl, her partner, him, Nina Mohai. <laughs> he was serving and he like, he like went through with his hand and hit her in the head. <laughs> Another thing, and I think we um, are all aware of this now due to the recent Anders Anderson controversy, is, uh, you know, you got to keep your hand out. If you're not ready, you got to keep, whew, you got to keep your hand out until you are in position and then drop your hand. Don't just kind of like be standing there. And then when your opponent serves, say, well, I wasn't ready, I wasn't ready. It's up to you to visually show that you are not yet ready to your opponent. You know what else we do here sometimes? Um, I'm not sure if it's a thing all over the world. Um, sometimes when we do a really tight net drop or, or when we do like a really, really nice cross net move, we say sorry. And I don't know exactly why, because if you hit the net, and it tumbles over, be like, ooh, sorry, sorry, or I'm so lucky. But if you do like a skill shot and it like just tumbles over the net or you do a perfect cross net and they don't get it, I don't know why people here say sorry, but they do. But I feel like you don't have to for that one. All right, so I think that about covers it for the main stuff anyway. There's obviously normal sports etiquette, but if I miss something big, let me know in the comments because I like, I like this forum is for us, you know, common badminton players around the world that we don't have six line judges and umpires and everyone watching us to tell us what is the proper etiquette. And we can get away with being a little rude and we're not gonna get in trouble. So let me know if I miss something. Cause again, there's a lot of culture in etiquette and maybe something that's a really big deal where you are, it's not a big deal for me. Let everybody know in the comments and read the comments so you can learn about etiquette in other countries too. Badminton is such a cool international sport. That is it. I will see you guys next time on the court. Bye.